In this video, I'm going to show you how to find secret Facebook ad interests that nobody else is targeting. Ever since the removal of the Audience Insights tool, it hasn't really left us with many options other than pretty much to go into our ad set, put an interest into the detailed targeting box, hit the suggestions option, and then pick from one of the drop downs. The issue with this is that everybody will be getting the same suggestions, which leads to more people targeting the same audiences, which leads to more expensive results. In this video, I'm going to show you the solution to this. I'm going to show you how to find Facebook ad interests that nobody else is targeting. And the way we're going to do this is by accessing what is called the Facebook API. The way the API works is it allows us to access the full list of Facebook ad interests they have stored in their database and not just the suggestions we get within the ad set. So to find these hidden interests, there's a couple of different links in which you need. The Google document you can see on screen now, I'll post a link below this video so everybody can get access to this for free. First step is to head to this link here, which is where you're gonna create what is called your access token. Before you create your access token, there's two steps in which you may need to do first. Because I've already been through these steps, Facebook won't allow me to go through them again. So any problems setting these up, leave a comment down below. I read every single comment and I will try and help you guys out as much as possible. So the first thing that you may need to do is create a Facebook developer account if you don't already have one. The process is very simple. When you click this link and it takes you to this screen, you'll get a pop-up and simply follow the instructions of confirming your name, your email, and your Facebook account. And this will straight away create you a developer account. Step two is then to create an app there will be a button that pops up once you've created your developer account that says create app there'll be many different types of apps in which you can create just make sure it's the business kind which is the default kind and then you'll be good to go once you've created your app then your explorer should look something like this and in the top right hand side we can see we've now got an access token to generate this access token the process is very simple just make sure you have the correct facebook app selected make sure you have a user token selected and then hit the blue generate access token button once you've done this hit this button to the right to copy the URL. Once you've done this, head back into your Google document. And what I find quite a handy exercise to do is just copy and paste this below headed by the interest in which you're going to be targeting. And then you can just swap out where it says access token here. We can delete this and then paste in our access token. The last steps are to replace this keyword uh, with the actual interest in which we want to target, which in this case is going to be golf. Once you've done that, just make sure you're keeping the brackets and then copy the whole thing. Last but not least, we have everything that we need to go ahead and say to Facebook, we want you to go out there and find all the interests in your database that are most similar to golf. So simply copy this, head into your URL bar, paste it into there and hit enter. And then as we can see, all these different interests on the left-hand side, if I zoom in, are gonna be similar to the interest of golf. Now, I've purposely gone through this example to show you in case this happens to you because, for example, with golf, it can mean many different things. You obviously have golf the sport, you have golf the particular car, so some of the interests you get might not be very relevant to what it is you're trying to achieve. So, for example, scrolling down, we have Nike, we have the Persian Golf, we have Wave, we have Golf of Mexico, which obviously aren't relevant to us. If this happens to you, then these are the following steps in which you need to take, and the process is very simple. It's a really, really easy fix. Only takes a few seconds. Let's head back into our Google document, and what we're gonna do is instead of putting golf into here, we're gonna put something a bit more specific to the actual niche in which we're targeting. So I'm gonna put in golf course instead. Hit copy, head back into a new tab hit enter and then let's take a look at the interests which are now suggested to us so we have our base interest at the top which is golf course we have golf course community um, which is obviously specific to what we're targeting we have turnbury which is a really famous golf course we have whistling straits another really famous golf course and just to illustrate how powerful this is and how much of an impact it can have on your facebook ads if we head into our ads manager and we'll go down to the detail tags and section so this is traditionally the way in which most advertisers will be using if we just simply put golf course into here um, select this and then hit suggestions we can see that whistling straits isn't on here we can see that turnbury golf course isn't on here we can see that golf in community isn't on here and if we head back and try and find a couple of more so we've got golf in scotland we've got tory pines another really famous golf course let's go back into our ads manager we can see tory paint Tory Pines, sorry, isn't on here. And we can see that golf in Scotland isn't on here either. So you can just see very quickly in the space of a couple of minutes, we can find a very vast 
list of super specific interests to the niche that we're targeting that nobody else will be aware of. And the result of this will be huge for your Facebook ads. If you're targeting interests that a very small minority of Facebook advertisers are, your CPMs will be so much cheaper. And the reason being is because Facebook is a bidding platform. It's a bidding space. The more people advertise into a specific audience, the more expensive it's going to be. So by targeting interests that nobody else is targeting, it's going to be a whole lot cheaper. And therefore, that's going to transition to cheaper purchases, cheaper CPMs, cheaper clicks, and ultimately more profits. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Um, like I said earlier on in the video, any questions whatsoever on this, just comment them down below. I read every single one. I will help you out as much as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you drop a like. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. One very final quick message before you go. If you are looking for a course to take all the headaches, confusions and trial and error out of starting a business on Shopify, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy Clubhouse. There will be a link in the video description below. Low. It is in step-by-step -step format, over 150 lessons to take you from a complete beginner all the way up to having a fully fledged and functioning and profitable business on Shopify. So make sure you check that out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.